actually look at this one with the little dog on oh my gosh there's even more get it or regret it oh those are fun oh wow look at those those are fantastic oh my god this is so much christmas this is just a little bit crazy i cannot believe i actually have made it to a store one minute after it has opened so in the home sense this is the autumnal shopping vlog that you have been waiting for. This home sense gets crazy busy because it's like the biggest one in the area. But yes, it is super quiet. So hopefully I can show you some bits. And we're just by the, I don't know what road this is. It goes up to Brent Cross, which we'll go to in a bit. I've been putting off buying autumnal things. But I think today is the day. Nice and quiet. I never ever go to stores for opening for this type of thing oh my gosh christmas i want to get maybe like a cushion that's halloweeny and i definitely want to get a candle or like a diffuser so that's on my list and then well, i'm gonna go to john lewis get some makeup and i want to go um and hopefully get a new blazer as well also i got a new jacket a new coat i'll show you when i see a mirror but yes lots and lots of christmas my goodness, uh, they always display it really, really well. But by the time I get to t um, where am I? Home Sense for Christmas, it's so busy and it's not necessarily the most fun um, experience. But yes, what have we got for Halloween? Oh yeah, okay, I'm gonna have a quick look. I said this in my Poundland video. I think they're called, they're not gnomes, not, um, knocks? I can't remember what they're called. These funny things, what are they called? Are you a fan? I am not sure. Um, but what have we got? I do like the kind of um, Day of the Dead. I think that's the kind of like theme. But I, like I said, I'd like to get maybe, I don't know, maybe a nice plate or something would be good, wouldn't it, for like some snacks. And it's sometimes hard to know whether like something is really cute or if you're like verging on tacky, but also is that okay? I did last year actually get um, a couple of bowls that were similar to this kind of style. So maybe I'll get something like that again. And they've even got, what is that? A chopping board. Oh my gosh, wow. I quite like that. That's kind of fun, isn't it? There is way more in here than I thought. And if you're wondering, it's literally like the beginning of October when I am filming this. But I do like the kind of massive wreaths. I went to a wreath making course once. Um, did I vlog it? I think I vlogged it like a million years ago in Vlogmas. When is a good time to buy stuff? Do I get it now? It feels so early. Massively distracted. I was a bit worried for a second that they didn't have much Halloween. It was just that section, but I'm completely wrong. Um, I really, really like all the dishes that they have. Look at those, they're really cool. I definitely, okay, yeah, I'm definitely gonna get maybe a couple of those. I was saying the other day, I kind of need a new mug. Um, so I'm thinking I should get one, but I am a little bit fussy because I'm a tea drinker. I find if it's dark on the inside, it can make your tea look really gross. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. But look at that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. And how much are they? What have we got? $4.99, $6.99. Pretty reasonable prices. Uh, oh, actually, look at this one with the little dog on. That's really cute. <laughs> Even the sausage dog dressed up as a skeleton. I really like this one, but it is a bit damaged. Otherwise, I, I totally would have got that one. Okay, I haven't decided on a mug, but anyway, they have got different wine glasses, these little drink tumblers. They're pretty fun, aren't they? Um, but yeah, quite impressed with how many kind of like drinking stuff that they have. This is really cool, like a little thermos. Yeah, um, what to get? It's hard to know, like, what stuff you're actually going to use for more than just a couple of weeks. I don't like to just buy stuff for the sake of it. Um, but a lot of cake stands. That's a pretty fun one, but I don't make cakes. Literally Christmas everywhere. I love all the little like felted animals. They're so cute. Oh, I really do love the cushions, but thinking about it, like the color doesn't really go with my flat. Maybe this type of thing could be cute. So this cushion is 12 99 that might go quite well on my in my bedroom maybe these are quite cool i do like the kind of style of that you could put a little tea light in how much is that it's free but yeah they've got tons of different skulls it's a bit creepy isn't it This garland could be quite cute. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I'm gonna get that. That is uh, $14.99 and they've got um, a colorful one as well. I've just grabbed a bowl as well, so a little combo. Yeah, it might seem silly and I might sound crazy, but I don't wanna have like a ton of orange stuff in my flat and it's that, uh, that balance of it being decorations and not decor, if you know what I mean. Um, what is this set of two? Oh wow, look at those candles, they're $6.99. I don't really have like a candle holder for full, kind of, I don't know, long candles, but I'm gonna try and get, um, oh, look at this, that's really cool, isn't it? I really like that. 
um, and these dishes as well are pretty awesome. Um, I do have to say, I really like that. Creep it, creep it real. Actually, I think there's a Costa around the corner, so maybe I'll get myself a autumnal drink. Do they have autumnal drinks at Costa? I don't know, guess I'll find out. And if you watch my Selfridges vlog, you'll see that I didn't end up getting a candle. I did get a candle the other day in and other stories, but um, these are absolutely massive. Like, I don't need a candle that big in my life, print a burn my flat down. Um, but I'm just gonna have a bit of a sniff of some of these pumpkin marshmallow, pumpkin pecan. I know I'm not a fan of actually eating or having pumpkin spice in my drink. But this one, that's really sweet, isn't it? With the little thing around it. They have got a lot. Um, I'm also conscious of not getting one that's got like a sticker right in the middle because there's just something about HomeSense price stickers that are an absolute pain in the backside to uh, remove. I am so impressed with these. These smell exactly what they say. I know that probably sounds stupid. Um, I'm gonna grab a pumpkin churro. Uh, this one is $6.99, which I don't think is too bad. Much cheaper than the Jo Malone candle, although I do love those. But these scents, like the Flapjacks one, they literally smell just like Flapjacks and not in like a really synthetic way. Um, so I'm really impressed. And also, I would say really, really pleased to see that they're not all like damaged. If you know, like if you come across crafting, you know that's the case. That one's a little bit much, the, the vanilla latte. And I just noticed the glass on this one has got like pumpkins around it. That's gorgeous. I just don't need one that big. Oh my God, there's so many. Um, and we have got some Yankee candle ones as well. These look like they're $14.99. Um, and then some slightly more like muted full vibes rather than full on Halloween. So that's quite good to see. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna try and pick another one because I know I'm gonna get home and regret. Oh, let's see what this one's like. It smells really nice. And look, some cow shed products as well. So a really, really good selection. Hopefully by the time you see this, you can come and have a look. But I'm actually gonna grab this apple cider one. This one is uh, $9.99, at least if the glue is bad on the back. No one will see it, but I like this little thing on it with the berries. But yeah, they've got loads and loads. Um, lots of apple, pumpkin. Um, yeah, and actual ones that are shaped. I don't remember things like this last year, but I think I came quite quite late in the day. But the full color spectrum of every type of orange. They also have a lot that obviously look like um, like drinking mugs, which is quite cute with like the rubber top. Um, I, I quite like that style. There's also quite a few Christmassy ones coming in as well. I think I did come at the right time because there is quite the selection and yeah, they're all in really good nick. And I do like the, yeah, just the autumnal looking ones rather than specific Halloween ones. Coming for opening was a good idea. Oh my gosh, there's even more. Gosh, making a row with my trolley. They really have got an amazing selection. I'm quite blown away. A lot of people um, usually tell me to go to the range, which is a store here, but um, we haven't really got one in London. I like everything where it's got like a little something. Um, I think that's really nice. And I've seen quite a few of these as well. I feel like those would be a really nice gift with the ribbon round. But yeah, and a lot of little animal ones as well. That's so cute. Am I the drama? Maybe I am. <laughs> I can't believe how many racks they have of stuff, but look at this massive vanilla cupcake um, one. I mean, yeah, literally will burn my fat down. Um, but I do really like all the ones with the animal topper things. They're really sweet. I mean, this could be the entire vlog of me just showing you candles, but don't worry, we will move on. Um, but I do like the kind of traditional pillar ones as well. I think they're really good. And they're $6.99, which I think is pretty good. Look at that massive one there, that's really sweet. Um, okay, let's have, oh, look at these. <laughs> How much are these? These are $6.99. They're cool. I was actually planning on getting a diffuser because I'm not great at like looking after candles. Um, I tend to leave them burning, but I think I'm quite happy with the two that I've got. So yeah, but they have got quite the selection. I just love all the packaging. Look at these, they're cool. I really like that Morgan and Grace brand. This is a really nice chilled shop and they've got even more by the tills. Yeah, $9.99 and under, get it or regret it. Uh, definitely, oh, I like the top of that. I feel like the tops are a big feature on there, so it's quite nice even just to have if you don't burn it. But we have got some hand towels, um, set of two. These are really cute for $9.99. I don't think I need any, I'm not really sure, because um, they're just not gonna go with my bathroom. But I do like the tea towels, I mean, very Batman. They're quite cool, aren't they? $5.99, um, yeah, some really cool, Cool items. Look at these cats, they're really sweet. They definitely have way more than last year. I feel like Halloween's just getting bigger and bigger. I actually regret not buying those little tea light white pumpkins that I saw in Poundland. I thought they'd be more like white and gray stuff, but with tea, um, I keep saying, did I say it was in TK Maxx? Um, but in the home sense, um, yeah, I think it's quite hard to know what they're gonna have. So we'll head on to the next place. I'm gonna pay for this. And
and um, yeah, get some more stuff wherever we're going to next. Where should I go? Costa, I need caffeine. Job done, everything's squeezed in, but as I go out, look, I know everyone's gonna be like, honey, you didn't show us the Christmas stuff. I can't believe how much Christmas is in here. This is crazy. I have had a lot of questions asking when I'm gonna start to do Vlogmas. I'm gonna start a little bit earlier and maybe just not call it Vlogmas. Because historically, Vlogmas was meant to be like an advent calendar you uploaded every day, which I've never done, but also I feel like YouTube's just changed now. People don't expect you to upload daily. Um, so maybe like a couple times a week, but I am gonna start, yeah, probably like mid-November-ish, um, just so it's not too jam-packed, because I do have a job. <laughs> so I'll quickly just show you a few things as we walk out. Look at these cute little, like, I don't know, little gangs that you sit on the side. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about these funny things, but look at these, these are massive. 350 pounds if you want a silver toy soldier. Uh, what else have we got here? Some little knickknacks. Um, little little scene that's quite cute with the wood they've got quite a lot that lights up so they've got quite a lot of that um wooden i don't know is that like laser cut i'm not sure but lots of nice little little things little things i think i need to expand my vocabulary don't i <laughs> a few little pink moments there as well but yeah very very impressed still managed to spend like 45 pounds <laughs> hmm what to get let's have a quick look at the food i don't really need anything but um, I have not been to Costa probably for about maybe a year, I don't really remember. Oh, they have m and food in here. Hmm, I did not know that. But the sun really is shining today. I've definitely picked a good, a good day. It's a little bit busy in the line, but it's okay. But yeah, I, I think I didn't realize that they had quite a lot of Marks and Sparks food. And they even have their little autumnal Costa uh, coffee mug, which is really sweet. And I really, really like this kind of slightly rose, kind of titanium, actually. I'm not really sure what color that is. They call it copper and gray. Um, they are really nice. I really, really like the aesthetic of this. But yeah, like I said, I haven't been to Costa in absolutely forever. Um, what food have we got? Oh my gosh, mini Colin the caterpillars. That's fantastic. Lots of sweet treats, but yeah, I'm just trying to read the menu. I definitely need to get glasses. But looking online very quickly, it says that there's like a maple syrup with selection of things. So I'm gonna ask and get like a like a latte or something. Are these meant to be broken? <laughs> oh, I do like these with the little finger holes. That's quite funny. I mean, encouraging you to play with your food. But look at this massive custard cream. Are you joking? That's fantastic. So I went for the maple hazel iced latte. It was £3.85 for a small, which I don't know. Is that really expensive? And this is 186 calories, so a bit of a treat. Well, it looks pretty nice. So let's head on out. I feel like I'm starting to drink coffee now, although... um. I don't know, is, is Costa more expensive than Starbucks or is it just the type of drink that I got? So yeah, I went for the iced so that I can drink some of it now and then take it home with me. So let's taste test. Mm. Oh, I'll drink it, I'll drink it. I would not get it again. I feel like my nails almost match the Costa sign, but yeah, I've got my natural nails now. Well, they look a bit dirty. Um, They're a, bit, a little bit longer. Do we like? Not sure. Let's go to Brent Cross. Boom, and just like that, I'm at Brent Cross and the fun fair is going round. Oh, it kind of freaks me out, that one. Anyway, let's go to John Lewis. But I probably go to Brent Cross maybe once a year. This is literally like my autumnal uh, thing that I do. I go to Home Centre and then I come to John Lewis and go around Brent Cross. I don't know, I'm not really like a shopping centre person. And I think where I live in London, I'm very lucky. So I can just go to like, I don't know, Oxford Street, even Westfield to prefer. I haven't been there in Yonks now. This is a slightly um, sadder John Lewis. It needs a little bit of love, this store. Um, yeah, it needs a bit of a refurb, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm just seeing if they've got anything autumnal. Let's go upstairs. But it's one of those stores where it's just really quiet. I feel like I should put some music on. But they have got a couple of things with some cute Halloween stuff. Hot chocolate bombs with marshmallows. I've never really had this type of thing, you know, where you like drop it in and it opens up. Um, oh, we probably should go to M&S actually while we're here, but I quite like this little cute felt decoration. Uh, gingerbread pumpkins. Yeah, and little uh, bat baubles, which is quite funny. Little Star Wars game there. Yeah, quite cute. I like how they've kind of added the kind of scary villainy things. Um, but these are really cute little chocolate stirrers. Um, John is obviously a little bit more premium um, in the price point, shall we say. But yeah, again, I really like this. Is my calling this the right thing? Is this kind of Day of the Dead style? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, oh, those are fun. 
do people buy stuff like this and have like a tree? I don't know. Um, but I do like these little uh, little lantern things with the print on it. They're really nice. I did actually get some tea lights the other day. I like having the fake ones. Much, much easier than the real ones. And then for £15, some felt love. I was hoping to see a bit more felt stuff um, in Home Sense, but they're quite quite nice and then we've got some back garlands and yeah little kind of wickery uh, moments as well and i've got a little bit more as well lots of yummy sweets i'm not sure about the color of these jellies oh no i'm not sure about those and um, yeah i didn't end up getting a mug there was a couple of mugs that i loved in home sense but they were a bit smashed up unfortunately but that's okay um we've got some little cookies a spiced apple panettone yum for 16 pounds i bet that is super scrummy but yeah john lewis are really good at having like lots of chocolate bits um and sweets so look at this massive tub i mean that is quite it's like expensive 14 pound 50 um i probably would go to asda for something like that yeah so really like those and i always really like things that are yeah shaped like a pumpkin these sound amazing pumpkin spice well i'm saying that i'm being a complete hypocrite because i don't like pumpkin spice in drinks but i don't mind it in food i don't think um some little balloons but i did get some the other day from uh poundland but yeah, some little gangs as well. They're really sweet. About, see, that's five pounds. That's really good value, I think. Oh, wow, it's really quiet in here. I'm just looking for NARS because I need to grab a concealer. Ah, NARS, 15% off. Hi guys, this is what I was hoping for. But yeah, the concealer that I use, um, which ran out ages ago, as you can tell from the visible spots on my face, but never mind. But just before I get that, I love the NARS palettes. I'm such a NARS fan. Look at that palette, are you joking? I think I probably have quite a lot of those colours anyway, but they last years, guys. If you ever want to get and spend a little bit more on something, definitely get a NARS palette. And then while I'm here, I'm actually going to grab um, one of these vitamin-enriched uh, face bases, which they definitely are on the premium price point. Um, it's just a really good primer. I'm saying that, they actually had this offer where you get two 50ml ones and then they got 15% off, so that was like £61 for two rather than one for 48 so um, yeah, quite a good deal i did actually want to get my foundation which is kind of nearly run out charlotte tilbury but then got charlotte tilbury in that store it needs a little bit of a refurb john lewis i love you but yeah it needs a little bit of a refurb and a few extra staff bless them but it's so weird being here like i say i don't come here very often at all it always is this time of year and we've got a um yeah a cool little um place down there so we'll have a look around see what's new and you've still got the uh, place to eat at the top i actually just looked on my my john lewis app it's really good you do they don't always email me though um and i do actually have a hot drink and a um like a cake voucher which um yeah i probably should have used but never mind still got my drink in the car which i guess i'll drink at some point but let's head on into h&m home oh, i love this place i did get a few bits the other day let's have a quick look in this store because i don't remember this being here this time last year but uh I just love the aesthetic it's amazing and it's such good value as well um i always get new covers for my cushions um so yeah i've bought the infills and then i just kind of rotate the covers but they're really good value they vary from i say like 7.99 to maybe like 12.99 maximum oh there's lighting oh my gosh um but yeah it's just a really good way to like update your home without like spending a fortune i do have a version of this from h and i love the colors it also comes in a really cool rug but i do really like that kind of lavender um, um, purple that is still on trend which is good to see and they do have a ton of different little candles they're really cute only yeah from 6.99 i love these shaggy bath mats they're amazing they really do not go with my flat unfortunately or maybe no it definitely won't also i don't think that would really hack too well in my washing machine i just love a really heavy plush uh yeah bath mat when you get out of the shower it's so nice nice and cozy it's the little things like that you want to make like your home as warm and cozy as possible and i do have to ask does everyone have just like a pile of paper or like things that you need to sort out like on top of your microwave or in the corner of like one of your kitchen cabinets so i'm gonna get a little basket just to make it like official mess do you know what i mean these are how much are these oh, it's only 3.99 cheap as chips so i think i might i think i might get like this one and i do love a gold or yeah like a goldy little rim moment on the glassware like how gorgeous are these plates they're beautiful right this one is actually 9.99 but um we'll make my mess official and a little bit tidier should i try and get the celine dupe viral bag from mns let's see mns is yeah coming in a little bit stronger on the fashion these days credit where credit's due 
maybe not with that display but let's have a look yeah they've got some real little nuggets i really like that color and with my snazzy bag so yeah this is the coat that i got the other day from and other stories and i'm really pleased with it i think it's a really nice color it was quite hard to get it was 205 pounds i know but it has got like wool and alpaca or something in but yeah i like it and literally as i walked around the lady was just putting these ones out so this is the bag it came in um, quite a few different colors i think the camel one or well, that one's a bit scratched um and black were the most popular but i do really like that green it's 35 pounds um look it's not it's not leather or anything you're not going to get a, a bag um yeah for 35 pounds these days and then the other one is the croc one it's slightly smaller um which i don't mind how much is this one um this is 25 pounds but yeah these are like the celine dupes the autumn trend that everyone's trying to get but i don't really like the strap on that one but i think i might for 35 pounds i don't think that's too bad right i quite like it it's adjustable i don't remember the last time i bought something like this from marks and spencers but yeah i like the little metal trim um yeah i wonder i mean by the time i've uploaded this video maybe people won't be so interested in these bags but i like the woman at the till was like oh all the young people are coming in to buy this bag oh i'm like you think i'm young <laughs> that's funny right anyway where should we go next just popped into MS food hall because i saw a little display they've got a little halloween moment right what have we got some hair bands oh wow these are really good ones with actual like massive spiders on mask cookie, cookie cutters i feel like they're kind of similar to last year little tablecloths um i do like the little boo um serviette packs that they've got there but almost like their christmas um selection apologies if they did have these last year i don't remember them they've got these little lantern tins what have they got them in hot chocolate which are really sweet but christmas coming soon on this channel and then they've got a big one as well down there which has got biscuits in so the light up tin um four pounds and six pounds for the bigger one. Oh yeah this okay this is literally they've done a great job of um yeah no doubt a bestseller at christmas and putting it into halloween so you've got a little light up house there um not sure how much that one is i'm guessing um oh it says it's six pounds as well this can't be the same price maybe they are yeah they are the same price i feel like that should be five and that should be six anyway what do i know we've got a little cat there with um literally a flower coming out of its um top of its body shall i say and we've got some glow in the dark window gels remind me of the 90s and some paper decorations so quite a good little selection here <laughs> all the good stuff it's coming up to 11 o'clock now and i'm like oh them donuts are looking real good right now um yum indeed gosh there's so much christmas stuff already please comment when you think it is an acceptable time for me to do christmas content i don't want to be too early because then by the time christmas comes all oh, 30 years of percy pig um yeah i get a bit sick of it but i'm thinking like i said earlier um like mid-november maybe that that mid-friday um what have we got all science museum oh that's quite fun we've got a huge selection of sweets look at these eerie eyeballs uh white chocolate filled with blood curdling raspberry center um yeah for three pounds and obviously you've got your standard percy pigs um that you have all the time um i wonder if they're in the promo there's usually a two for something promo isn't there with all of these what else have we got i'm sure you've already started trying this we've got risky roulette um sours part of the Colin range and some mini monster cupcakes oh wow look at those those are fantastic uh it doesn't got a price on them which is teeth up the top there there's eight mini bags yogurt coated raisins i mean that's a bit far-fetched on the theme but whatever and i really like the actual color of the foil that they've used on these they're really cool um are they filled are they got filling in them yeah they have with some gruesome flavor i'm sure some sour spiders yeah some other little bits down there as well the little bags are always good to have and i really like the packaging the packaging's really cool and they've got quite a few different themes on it i like this kind of spooky um yeah grandfather clock with the spooky pictures i like that and they've got some shock core shock corn um they have these popcorn trays um all year round but yeah they do always themed ones including ones for christmas and then you've got again part of the ombles i always really struggle to say that i don't know why but yeah loads of different treats look at these shocky chocky buns oh stop they look actually a little bit grotesque um hold on wait 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 lava hot dog rolls what in the heck tomato rolls made of puree and smoky paprika i mean is that halloween whatever i'm not a food i don't work in food development <laughs> i'll stick to fashion um what we've got here mini mummy loaf cakes oh those are really cool 
they look really scrummy. Um, it says that they are fudgy chocolate sponge cakes with vanilla buttercream um, and edible decorations. And we've got a little spooky Colin over there, which looks like a mummy. I nearly missed these little drink stirrers. Oh, those are cool. I don't remember these last year. They have gone all out. And like I said, the packaging looks bloody brilliant. Really impressed, m &S. Love you as always. And then, oh my God, there's so much Christmas. This is just a little bit crazy. And I know people are gonna be like, why didn't you go to White City to Westfield? Because that's actually quite near where I live. Um, oh, they've got like a massive sushi place here as well. Ooh, without filming everyone. Um, because it costs like 10 quid to park a car for two hours. And that's not an exaggeration. I think it's actually £9. 50, but it's free to park here at Brent Cross, which we like. I'm just in Mango. Oh, the colour doesn't really come out. Do we like this scarf? It's £22.99. Um, I actually really need to find my gloves when I get home. So that's going to be um, something you do. But yeah, I really want one that's a bit like the acne one. I would say, and other stories have got some amazing ones, but they're like really itchy and I'm really fussy when it comes to fabrics touching my skin. But do we like? This is the jacket that everyone's trying to get in black, but they've only got it in red, but it's... Yeah, really lovely. You get the vibe. I got the slightly darker one out of my comfort zone. I would never usually buy that. But look at these cute things they've got in the window at H&M. They have so much cute stuff. I mean, I don't have kids, but honestly, I love all of it. But I'm actually just grabbing a couple of these little skirts. They're only £10, um, one for each of my nieces. I know I shouldn't really get them the same stuff, but um, yeah, look at this. They've got loads of glow-in-the-dark stuff as well. It's really, really cute. <laughs> Let's have a quick look in Lush and see what they have for Halloween. Oh, wow, that's strong smelling. Um, oh, look at the, I want mummy, a bath bomb, 350. Pumpkin, 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 can't even say that, for a fiver. And look at this little monster mash there. That's a cool thing. These are really fun for like gifts, that spooky little foot. Um, I'm sure they have probably some of these all year round, but I like the little monsters that they have. They're really cool. And they do actually have some of the little gift boxes. That one's £35. We get quite a fair bit in there, actually. Uh, you get like five things, so that's quite cool um, to see. And then I guess it becomes a little drawstring bag and you can use it. I like that a lot. But yeah, loads of Christmas stuff already. Now, I don't like to be negative about any retailers, but why is Lush so aggressive? Like, you go in there and they're like, are you looking for anything in particular? And I'm like, I just want to have a look around. And I was like, super nice. And then they just stare at you. I, I actually don't like shopping in Lush. Does anyone else agree? <laughs> and just like that, I feel like I am very much ready for autumn towards Christmas, my goodness. Um, I definitely got some things I really wanted. I'm so glad I got that um, bag from Marks and Spencers. I'm actually gonna go home and transfer my stuff straight away because I know I'm gonna use that a lot. I will let you know, I mean, comment below if you wanna know how the bags lasted because it will be a few weeks. I would have definitely used it quite a lot by the time you see this video. Um, wow, the sun is shining. Also, Hannah, remember, shopping in a shopping center, you do not need to wear a proper coat and my seat in my car is covered in fluff because I didn't realize that this coat transferred so much. So that's gonna be fun, but never mind, all good. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna love and leave you guys. Thank you so much for making it this far in the vlog, um, but I'm gonna leave you with the gorgeous scene of, um, yeah, what is this road bit called? Is this the North Circular? I don't know, I'm sure people have rolled in your eyes at me. Um, and the kind of scary looking fun fair, I feel like that's gonna be a bit spooky. I'm a bit scared of um, rides that, I don't know. I'm a bit scared of fun fair rides, I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, take care of yourselves, come say hi over on Instagram, and I will see you next week. Bye!